one thing I forgot to mention in um, eliminating the second meter and the city um, paying for the pit at the first meter, the city stands to recognize a smaller investment in this project by some $2,500 or something like that. So, I mean, it, it's it's kind of to, to the city's advantage, at least from that perspective. Um, by eliminating that second meter, you understand that uh, you'll be responsible for any leak that you have taken. Well, see, we would be anyway. Yeah, ours is different in the fact that unlike the the private line on South Fifth Street, where those people have agreed in part or parcel that wherever that leak is, it's either at the beginning of the main. If the leak happens at the beginning, they're all responsible for it. If it's at the end of the main, then only one person is responsible for it. That's not our position. We we own the line in its entirety. We accept full responsibility for that line. And see, basically, the way our line runs is that 95% of it is out. <coughs> excuse me, is out of city limits anyway. So it's going to be billed most likely at one and a half times the rate, no matter if we put the meter there or not, because. Nine times out of ten, the leak's going to be outside the city, if there is one outside the city limit. So to have that second meter because the leaks really does us no good because we're going to pay it no matter what. I mean, would you be willing to do what what I suggested? One bill and everybody pays one and a half times. I mean, it's a compromise. I mean. Yes. Question to somebody else? What would you say again about one? one meter, one bill, everybody gets charged one and a half times the city rent. But plus the, we pay for the cost. But plus we pay for the cost of the pit. What about a uh, person that's outside of city limits? Are we going to supply them a meter or are they going to have to buy it outside? Within the. I, mean, that's what I don't think we supply any of that. Well, well, I would think we would supply them a meter in their house because they're within city limits. That's true. Yeah. And the people outside city limits would have to almost buy their radio read meter, right? I, I, I don't know. But there's a stipulation on that. Each shareholder shall be responsible for his share of the water use, and the shareholder shall designate one member of the group to collect the payment for the individual meter readings. But see, that isn't what we're even. That contract yeah, ain't yeah. even any good. Uh -huh. What you're reading? No. Well, we're not doing the second meeting. Well, I mean, you really wouldn't even have to have regular reading on their home because we're not going to be reading that meeting. Okay. Okay. I we're going to be. They're going to get one bill. They're going to smoke. You got one bill. Right? That's right. And, and I mean, they'll have. They, they don't need. They meeting. don't have to have the extra expense of a regular read meter. They okay. Read their own meters. Colin can read his meter, and then you guys just pick up the billing. And so they're just going to have regular meters instead of radio read meters. I mean, I don't see why they would have to have radio read because we're not going to be doing the radio, except on the mask meter. It'd only be for their purposes, right? To have. Are they putting? Are you guys putting in your own meters? Do you guys know? We hadn't. We didn't think we were. Well, I mean, Do you really, know? with them being inside the site city limits, we probably but should furnish them with the meter. It, just, it won't be a radio read meter. I mean, it'll just be a regular meter like so this. So, so you, you can it read it. Up. I don't know how you're going to so yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We need, we need some kind of You right. guys need something to divide it up. You can right. Right. Yeah. I would think. Absolutely. On the other private lines outside the city limits, they're all metered, aren't they, individually? As far as I... They have... Uh, the one in particular on North 16th Street, we read and charge at the main meter. They do have house yeah. meters, right. so that they, so they, they can determine yeah. how much yeah. each person okay. owes. Right. But that's something solely for their own purposes. That's what we're talking about right. here. But I just wanted to be clear that that's how much users do we just get one meter there too? Then no, they're individual. They got one at the house also. What about the one right before us for Von On to Virgil's? Do they get individual bills, or do they get? One bill and have to divide it too. They get individual bills. Okay. All our contracts are a little bit different. They were set up. We, we need to. Ago. We need to standardize our. Contract. I was going to just say because they just redid theirs, so I <coughs> just wondered if they had approached 
the council as a group as well to get that straightened out now that they were reconnecting, or if that so had been discussed. That master meter is just to check to see if there's a leak or not in between. Correct. Between there and the power. It was for our, that's water, one of our water loss purposes. Yeah. That's one of our oldest private line agreements. Yeah. And I do know that that term of the agreement was, there was an attempt to renegotiate that term of the agreement uh, a few years ago. Yeah, I think we're, we're okay with that. Is everybody else okay with that? Right. I think, I think it's a compromise. We still can track our water loss. If there is a leak, hopefully there won't be a leak for several years with the new, with the new line. But, and you should have adequate pressure out there also. I did some checking on elevations yesterday, so, um, you know, unless there's a big fire or something like that, you can drop in pressure. You should run anywhere from 50, 50 to 60 pounds. And that's pretty standard around town. Mm -hmm. There was did, somebody had said something about you said something about the size of meter that we're putting in. Was that an issue anymore? Or? No, I I've, I've been reassured by okay. city staff had, as well as our contractor that that's okay. not going to. I just yeah, heard and that, be. and I kind of wanted to explain if you had a discrepancy about no. it. We okay. we've heard from city and our okay. private contractor, and they're both right. they're okay with that. So. We're just going to go on there. Jim, would you expertise. like to put it in the form of a motion? I'll make a motion that we eliminate the second meter, pay for the pit on the first meter, and bill from the master meter one bill, and everyone pays one and a half times the city portion. Is there a second to that motion? A call for a vote. Councilman Brink? Yes. Brennan? Yes. Hampton? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Motion? Thank you. Thank you all for coming this morning to Thank you, Council Brinkley. Glad to see the progress on that. Yes. Not, not any happier than they are, right? <laughs> um, I make a motion to adjourn. I mean, I call for a motion to adjourn. Excuse I'll, me. I'll make the motion. I'll, I'll let somebody else second okay. it. Okay. Can we get Mark some more coffee, please? Yeah. Um, extra strong. Call for a vote. Yes. Hampton? Yes. Jones? Yes. Ready? Yes. Okay. Thank you.